understand why our Smart Power formula feels so much better than any other drink, let's take a moment and discover just what happens when caffeine enters your brain. Welcome to your brain. When the caffeine reaches your brain, it sets off a series of neural reactions that Dude, stimu- It's like Star Wars inside of here. Hey, Marky Mark. So, how did you get here? What are you doing here? I live here, Mark! Right to the left of the hypothalamus. Oh, yikes. Ha! Uh, now you're gonna give them a headache. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. You're just jealous because people like me better than they like you in these videos. Well, that might be true. Look, I'm just going to be a typical person this time. <laughs> Her typical is what scares me. Look, seriously. No <laughs> costumes, no jokes. I am strictly here for the education of the people. Promise? Promise. Okay. So let's go. So, when the caffeine reaches your brain, it sets off a series of chemical reactions that stimulate particular neurotransmitters in the brain, names of which you're probably familiar. The first of which is dopamine. <laughs> what? You said dope. I just, uh, never mind. Yes. Uh, <laughs> dopamine, which is associated with feelings of euphoria and just well-being. Oh, money, pony, hippie, San Francisco. The second of which is adrenaline, which is associated with alertness and energy. I feel the need! The, the need, need for speed. speed! Ow! The third is noradrenaline, which is associated with energy and focus. I feel the need for very focused speed. Wait, 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 watch. What? I focused really fast. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and the fourth is serotonin, mm -hmm. which is associated with... Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Thank you. Right. Serotonin, mm -hmm. which is associated with mm -hmm. just generally mm -hmm. feeling good. I feel good in a special way. So talented. Yes, so talented. I know. Thank you. So caffeine rocks, baby. What's the problem? Well, uh, sometimes the caffeine can overstimulate those particular neurotransmitters so that they run too hot and you get tense and... The jitters. The jitters. And then when the caffeine wears off, those transmitters have gotten depleted, and so you end up lethargic and tired. Or what we call the crash. Yeah. So, where does smart power come into the picture here? Well, remember the special ingredients that we uh, had? Yes, though, they remain somewhat nameless since yes. evildoers would mimic our magical ways if yes, they knew steal how. our stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, the first set of those ingredients actually regulate the neurotransmitters we've just been talking about. So you don't go into overload neurotoxicity, so you don't crack. Okay, but let me ask you. Beyond the whole no jitters, no crash thing, mm -hmm. I had a smart power about an hour ago, and I feel kind of groovy. Yeah, yeah, we call <laughs> that the smart power glow, and uh, I like that part myself. Um, basically what it is is not only do those uh, ingredients regulate the neurotransmitters, they also add things. For example, uh, one of the ingredients converts in your brain into the stuff called PEA. 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 It's uh, the stuff that gives you a high from chocolate. Oh. And you know the first year or two in a relationship when like you're really passionate, romantically attracted, and it's really yeah p e a really yeah ow good day sunshine good day sunshine good day sunshine. yeah and then uh, the other ingredients actually replenish the neurotransmitters that get burned so you don't go into neuron debt and then you don't crash mm-hmm. So although the biochemistry is reasonably complex, the actual idea is pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Wait, I got it. Okay. Smart power, smart energy drink. It's not magic. It's chemistry. Ooh, ah. exactly. Damn, baby, I got my glow on. <laughs> Work it.
work it, rock it, rock it, like chocolate, like chocolate, and sex, and sex. <laughs> <laughs> I think let's leave that part yeah. out. <laughs>